And we'll go next to Brennan Churchin at MMA Nonstop. Thanks, guys. Uh, to the guys on Cruz's team, I'm just curious, what were your thoughts on having Ronda Rousey come in and, and serve as an assistant coach and then uh, having her be the first female to step foot into the tough household to watch the fights with you guys? It looked like there was a bit of awkwardness around her. Uh, I'm just curious what it was like on your end being in the house with her. Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, uh, it really made me respect uh, the female aspect of MMA. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I never really thought, uh, you know, the female aspect was, of MMA was going to really uh, live long. Uh, but, you know, after a, a female like that, you know, uh, show us that her judo was just incredible. It made me respect uh, the game of judo and, like I said, the female aspect of MMA. Uh, you know, and when she came in the house, you know, I mean, what do you expect? You got, you got 16 guys in here that have been locked up and haven't seen a female uh, <laughs> in quite some time, you know. So, uh, you know, and, and, and honestly, when we get out of this house, I, I don't, I'm not even sure if a lot of us even know how to uh, communicate with a female. So it's going to, it's going to, it's going to be, you know, it's, it, it, was, it was really cool and it was really fun to be that first season to have a female in the, in the live house, tough live house, and have her uh, at our practice. Okay, cool. James? Uh, well, when she first walked in, I was thinking, man, uh, she is amazingly beautiful. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, she started doing techniques, and it was just shocking how she could pick guys up in our weight class and, you know, hip toss them easier than I could and it, with less effort. It was just amazing because it's, you know, it's all technique with her because she can't match us with strength, but she can still move, you know, a 150-pound guy as easy as I can. So it's um, it's pretty amazing. You know, she's definitely a highly trained athlete. And you even heard uh, last week in the fights, you know, uh, Nate Diaz said she came down and trained with them. So, I mean, you know, obviously she's she's very well respected in the MMA world. And it was just, you know, as far as her having, having her in the house, you know, like that's just that we, we stayed away from her, you know, kind of like <laughs> little kids that we were shy or something. She, she had like there was a big gap uh, between her and everybody on the couch and she was sitting down and watching the fights. It was kind of weird, but uh, everyone was, I'm sure was, was looking out there, looking at her at the corner of their eye, just, you know, just checking her out though, for sure. <laughs> certainly, certainly. What was the, uh, what was the best advice she gave you guys coming out of the training sessions? Uh, yeah, you know, just, just the technique of, of judo, you know, you know, work that in with some of, some of, you know, some of the, uh, you know, well, wrestling that you have or, or, or whatever, you know, uh, and, and, and the placement of the hips, those are the two things that she really, really emphasized. And, and, and I realized a lot when I was training with her, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, yeah. and, you know, she, she, and it was just, it was just cool to have a high level judo girl, like a, a, a judo, uh, a specialist like that. And, and show us, uh, you know, some sides of judo. It was just really cool. Uh, yes, sir. You know, um, just, uh, yeah, the technique, you know, that everything, like I said, she's such a small, you know, such a small lady that, you know, everything has to be, you know, technical with her because all of our training partners are guys for the most part anyway is what she told us. And, you know, she, it taught, you know, if you don't you do technical stuff like that, she's going to end up hurting her back. You know, she has to be 100% technical. And then, if she can do that, every, you know, everybody else should be technical as well. And then if you're strong, then that's, that's an advantage. But if you're technical and strong, then that's, you know, then you're going to be unstoppable. Definitely. Definitely. And just for Joe and Mike on the other side there, um, did, did you guys on Team Faber have any uh, insight that, that Rhonda might be coming to watch the fights with you guys, or was that a total shock for you as well? Um, just because, you know, from watching it on TV, it looked like you guys had no clue, and that was just a big shock for everybody. Uh, yeah, this is Joe Proctor. Uh, yeah, we had no idea that she was coming here. Uh, when she walked in, I think everybody was in shock and awe that there was actually uh, uh, another female in the house. But, uh, <laughs> any but, attempts yeah, to get Misha Tate on the phone? What's that? Were there any attempts to get Misha Tate on the phone? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> right on. All right, thanks, guys, very much for the time, and uh, best of luck to you. Mike, Mike, any thoughts on, on Rhonda being in the house for you? Um, You know, uh, I saw Rhonda at the gym before we got to the house, so, you know, when she walked in the door, the initial shock wasn't there. It was just, you know, she's a she's a world champ, so it's just like another one of the dudes, you know, and uh, I'm friends with Misha Tate, so it was kind of funny. So it was like, I'm sitting across the <laughs> crowd, and I, I heard the result, and uh, I actually got a catch picture of the uh, – the, the mangled arms, so, you know, it was cool, but, you know, having Ron around was just like watching the pipes with another one of the dudes. 
Very cool. Very cool. Thank you very much, guys, and best of luck to you in the quarterfinals.